Hello everyone. Right now, I'm in Kyoto, Japan, at the Nintendo headquarters. We've just finished a conference to prepare for the next Nintendo Direct. I think it would be a good idea to find out more about what we are planning. To do that, I'd like to conduct a very special short version of Shibata Ask today. Actually, there has always been a person whom I wanted to ask question to. Let's call him in. Hello, Mr. Shibata. I heard you have some question to ask me, so you are conducting Shibata Asks. So here I am. What is that you want to ask me? Yes, actually, there are a lot to ask you. OK. It is a little strange to be the person being interviewed, since I have always been a person interviewing others. Oh, Mr. Shibata, by the way. Yes, Mr. Iwata. Both you and I are Satoru's. Yes. So that makes us double Satoru's, doesn't it? We are right comedians, aren't we? This looks quite different from the regular Iwata asks. Shall we start now? Yes. We are having a Nintendo Direct in Europe. But there is also one in Japan. What is the purpose of this Nintendo Direct? For this Nintendo Direct, we are going to focus on Wii U. We presented Wii U at E3 conference in Los Angeles, but now we want to provide more information on the hardware as well as details on Wii U software. I see. And what kind of software will we be talking about? We will take a closer look at the titles that will be available on launch day and also software available in the launch window. This will include software from Nintendo and also other publishers. The launch window mean until the end of March 2013? That's right. And we can also confirm some new titles that haven't been announced before. OK, now, before I leave for Europe, I'd like to ask you if there is anything you would like to say to European fans about the presentation. OK. I hope that after the presentation, viewers will have an even better idea of what Wii U brings to gaming. This is a console that can be enjoyed in any social situation, played alone or with family and friends together. The unique features of Wii U offer new experiences to all gamers, and I hope everyone in Europe will have a lot of fun discovering them. Thank you very much, Mr. Iwata. I will fly back to Germany to present the rest of Nintendo Direct. OK, I am looking forward to your announcement then. Double Satos has presented to you Nintendo Direct. Hello, everyone. I'm back in Germany now and ready to present today's Nintendo Direct, which is all about Wii U. Let's get started right away with the console itself, as Mr. Iwata and I mentioned. The first thing I want to tell you is what you can expect in shops on launch day. There will be two options for buying your Wii U console, the basic pack and the premium pack. We have created two different packs because we would like to offer more than one option to people depending on their gaming style. Let's look at what is included. The basic pack includes a white Wii U console with 8 GB of storage. There will also be a white Wii U gamepad and two AC adapters, one for the console and the other for the gamepad. Finally, there will be an HDMI cable included. The premium pack has a black Wii U console and gamepad, also with two AC adapters and one HDMI cable. However, this console has 32 GB of storage, compared to the 8 GB of the basic pack. 
This larger storage capacity allows you to download and store more digital content. There will be other extras in this pack too. A stand for each of the gamepad and console, and a charging cradle especially for the gamepad. This pack will also come with a sensor bar and Nintendo Run software. With the Premium Pack, we are also offering a special reward program called Nintendo Network Premium. Whenever you buy digital contents from Nintendo eShop, you will receive points, which will be valued at around 10% of the original Nintendo eShop price. This can be both full download software and add-on contents from Nintendo or other publishers. Once you reach 500 points, you can start to use this credit against future purchases. We currently plan to run this scheme until the end of 2014. In the event that points delivery is not available at launch, don't worry, you will still get your points later on for anything you've already purchased. Now I'd like to explain a little bit about compatibility with Wii accessories. Many of you will already own a sensor bar or a Wii Remote Plus controllers that came with your Wii console. These can be used with Wii U, so we have not included them at all in the basic pack and only including the sensor bar in the premium pack. This means you can buy the console at a reduced price without paying for any additional accessories you don't need. However, we are providing a starter accessory pack at the launch for everyone who didn't already own a Wii console. This will be called the Wii Remote Plus Additional Set and will include a Wii Remote Plus controller, nunchak, and sensor bar. Of course, you will also be able to buy controllers and other accessories separately. On the subject of accessories, there is also a new Wii U Pro controller. This can be used wirelessly and also charged via USB. Up to four Wii U Pro controllers can be connected to the Wii U console. As well as controllers, most Wii software is also compatible with Wii U, and you will be able to transfer downloaded software like WiiWare and Virtual Console titles to your new console. I'd like now to mention some of the specifications and features that the Wii U console and gamepad offer. The Wii U console is capable of showing HD graphics in both 720p and 1080p format. These look very different to Wii console graphics, which could not be displayed at these resolutions. At 2 gigabytes, the main memory of Wii U is more than 20 times bigger than Wii. This is divided into 1 gigabyte for gaming and 1 gigabyte for the system. Thanks to the size of this memory, you will now be able to enjoy surfing the internet or checking out Mibus without stopping your game. We also features a 25 gigabyte original standard disk player, and the size of this means much data can be written to the disk, resulting in a deeper, richer gameplay experience. The Wii U gamepad is packed with features like a gyro sensor, microphone, speaker, geomagnetic sensor, and accelerometer, as well as the LCD touchscreen. For a full list of specifications, please visit the Wii U website and check out the detail after this presentation. One Wii U gamepad will be included in each pack. However, it will be possible to connect two Wii U gamepads to the console at the same time in the future. We will sell Wii U gamepads separately when games that use two Wii U gamepads start to be launched. So that's what's included when you buy your brand new Wii U console, but I'm sure you're wondering when you can actually do this in Europe. Today I can reveal that Wii U will be available from shops in Europe on November 30th. As you may know, in Europe, retailers set their own prices by row, so I cannot confirm a price for the different regions. However, I recommend it you check your local retailer website very soon for price information. Now let's move on to software. 
As I mentioned, Nintendo Land will be included with a Wii U Premium Pack. It will also be available separately on Wii U launch day. So it seems like a good time to look at it in more detail. As you know, Nintendo Land is a theme park filled with 12 distinct attractions, all based on the well-loved Nintendo franchises. At E3, we mainly concentrated on multiplayer games, but there is a wide variety of gameplay on offer. Our in-house Nintendo development team is working very hard on completing these titles. And now I'd like to show you the different attractions they are working on. There are games where you can play alone or with other people. The Legend of Zelda Battle Quest, Pikmin Adventure, and Metroid Blast. Then there are games where you play against other people. Mario Chase, Luigi's Ghost Mansion, Animal Crossing Sweet Day. And also single player games, although other people can assist to. Yoshi's Fruit Cart, Octopus Dance, Donkey Kong's Crash Course, Takamaru's Ninja Castle, Captain Falcon's Twister Race, and Balloon Trip Breeze. These games all differ, and each attraction is a standalone game with multiple levels, various modes, and deep gameplay contents. Some of the simplest looking games are surprisingly complicated, and whether you are a beginner or a seasoned player, you are going to find them a challenge. I can confirm that personally. I'd like to show you just how interesting this gameplay is by taking a look at Metroid Blast, which is a shooter type game. There is more than one mode in Metroid Blast, and we are going to look first at the mode called Land vs. Air. Up to five players can take part in this multiplayer battle. There are two teams. One player controls a flying starship, and the other plays hums on the ground. The starship player uses a two-stick on the Wii U gamepad to control the ship and attack the Samus characters from the air. The other player uses the Wii Remote Plus controllers and nunchuck to outrun the ship and try to blow it up from the ground. There is also a mode called Assault Mission, where both teams fight together against enemies from the Metro series. You play through a number of stages, and at the end of some stages, there will be a super tough boss to tackle. When you play this mode, you also have the option to choose either the Starship or Sams and play alone. The last mode is called Grand Battle, and here the Sams characters fight each other on the ground. As you can see already, there are many different options in Metroid Blast alone. I'd also like to talk about the Legend of Zelda Battle Quest. We already showed the multiplayer Battle Quest mode at E3. In this mode, players choose to use a bow and arrow or a sword and shield and battle through a beautiful fabric style world, facing famous enemies from the series. In Battle Quest mode, there are nine stages, and once you finish them all, you can unlock hidden stages too. You can also play solo in this mode using either the Wii U gamepad or Wii Remote Plus. And let me tell you, single player is very challenging. There is also a single player mode called Time Attack. Using the Wii U gamepad, you have to eliminate all enemies as fast as you can. There are three different levels available in this mode. No matter what your favorite Nintendo character is, there is a good chance you will find it in Nintendo Land. Maybe you will also discover some new characters you didn't know much about before. Each of the 12 attractions will reward you with stamps based on your completion level. It will be quite a challenge to get them all. Do you think you can do it? Another launch day title will be New Super Mario Bros. U. 
Everybody knows that normally Princess Peach is kidnapped at the beginning of the Super Mario games. However, this time Peach's castle is invaded by Bowser's minions, who kick Mario and his friends out instead. Now it's up to them to work their way back to Peach's castle through a vast world map containing many distinctive levels and various challenges to conquer. Mario loves his power-ups, and this game features a new one that allows him to glide like a flying squirrel. You also find different Yoshis who can blow bubbles to catch enemies. In New Super Mario Bros. U, when you play with other people, you can now play as your me. Thanks to this and the HD graphics, you can now tell really easily who is playing which character in multiplayer games. Playing by yourself, you can actually play just on the Wii U gamepad, freeing up the TV screen for other users. When you play with others though, you can use the gamepad in boost mode. In this mode, you assist other gamers who are controlling the characters on screen by using a touch screen. You can touch the screen to place helpful platforms, for example. This is a great way for players who aren't so experienced in Mario gameplay to join in. However, boost mode with the gamepad is not just for inexperienced players. When it's used by skillful players, you can achieve some real super play, as you can see now. We are really happy that we could create a new mechanism which has different applications and is not just for beginners. New Super Mario Bros. U also offers some additional modes in which players can enjoy normal courses in a different way. Challenge mode is one example of this. Players receive various challenges such as a time attack, where they try to reach the goal pole as quickly as possible. Or how about a one-up challenge, where you have to jump on several enemies in a row without missing any. Depending on the challenge, the same courses can offer totally different gameplay, and you will have to play the game slowly to achieve records for every challenge. Another example is what we call Boost Rush. In this frantic mode, all courses are auto-scrolling. The more coins you collect, the faster the screen scrolls, and the harder it gets to clear the courses. If you think you are good at Super Mario games, this will be the place to prove it. New Super Mario Bros. U will bring the colorful world of Mario to life like never before with brand new gameplay modes. This is a totally new 2D Mario games for Wii U, and you can enjoy Wii U's unique Mario gameplay, regardless of whether you play alone or with other players. New Super Mario Bros. U will be available from Wii U launch day. These are the launch day titles being developed in-house. But don't forget about all the other games we are creating at Nintendo, like Pikmin 3 and Game and & Wario heading your way next year. Now I'd like to turn our attention to more launch day games developed by other companies and teams. Ubisoft have a long tradition of game creation with Nintendo, and the Wii U is no different. We are very pleased today to be able to bring you new detail on Rayman Legends. The best part is we are going to hear from the creator of the Rayman series himself, Michel Onsel. In Rayman Legends, we really wanted to um, create new experience with the touch capability of the Wii U. So we use the gamepad in different ways. So you can really uh, drag something, you can point on uh, sp specific enemies in order to destroy them, showing the path. Um, the gyroscope allows us to completely manipulate uh, the whole level. So you really have to talk. Asymmetrical gameplay is really the, the first thing 
you could expect from a Wii U game, just because you've got the different way of approaching um, uh, the way of playing. Um, on one side you've got the classic controller, on the other side you've got the, the gamepad, and it's it's really the key of the the experience we wanted to build. <laughs> In order to really experience the uh, asymmetrical gameplay, we build um, a level that takes place in the Olympus world, where the gamepad player is uh, moving a shield, a flying shield. And uh, the very interesting thing is that the shield has two main uh, uh, tasks. First task, it can be used as a platform, and the other one is that it can protect the player. And we did that because we wanted the two players to interact uh, depending on the situation, okay, I've got to protect you or you've got to jump on, 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 the, on me and then I can carry you somewhere. It's really doing things all together at the same time, but with completely different responsibilities. The musical maps um, is a real, is really something fun we wanted to do for a long time. When you play a platformer game, the music is very important. You want to play and you want the, the music to be really a, a part of the experience. Yeah. This time we try to go further and to really have the feeling of uh, mixing your actions and at the same time having the music completely synchronized. It's good. Our second Ubisoft game received a lot of interest at E3 this year. Zombie U is a survival horror first-person shooter guaranteed to get your heart racing. The city of London has been afflicted with a terrible plague and you are one of the few survivors against a horde of zombies. Let's take a look at some gameplay. As I mentioned, the game takes place in London, and now we are looking at some footage of a brand new location, the Tower of London. Just one of the great features in this game is that when you die, you carry on in the game as a new survivor. Not only that, your old character is now a zombie, still carrying all your old equipment meaning you have to track them down if you want to get it back. For a super tough challenge, there's also survival mode. This mode challenges you to play the game with just one character and just one life. There are many great gameplay features in Zombie U that make use of the Wii U gamepad. Here we see the weapon crafting feature. This takes place inside your safe house and is done directly on the touch screen of the Wii U gamepad. There are 50 different items to hunt down in the game, with which to upgrade your weapons. These will increase attributes like firepower or accuracy. Also related to weaponry is a new weapon handling feature. Choose your favorite weapon and the more you use it, the better your weapon skills become, causing your character to level up. Increased weapon handling will improve factors like your aiming speed, reloading speed, and recoil. There is a catch though. If your survivor dies, you will lose the skills you are attained. So try to keep him alive as long as possible. The next feature is a really interesting use of the Wii U gamepad. As you play through Zombie U, you might want to leave a message of symbols for a fellow survivor who is playing online. You can do this using a spray can and other players can use their scanners to read your message. Of course, you can read the message too, but be careful. Are you sure you can trust the person who left it there? Finally, today we are going to look at some online and social aspects of Zombie U. When other online Zombie U players become infected, they will actually appear as zombies in your game. 
The great part is you can attack them and steal their backpack and equipment. You can also keep tabs on any of your own survivors who became infected and see where they are and how many people they attacked. There will also be leaderboards to compare your survivor's statistics. Could you be the ultimate survivor? ZombieU will be available on Wii U launch day. There is one more piece of ZombieU news I'd like to share with you today. We are preparing a limited edition ZombieU Premium Pack, including a Black Wii U console and a Black Wii U Pro Controller, to be available from launch day. A ZombieU Wii U bundle for you. ES Sports FIFA is recognized as the biggest and best sports game on the planet. It's a franchise that's known for its authenticity, innovation, and connection to the real world of football. We are very pleased that FIFA 13 will be coming to Wii U, delivering revolutionary new ways to play FIFA. That brings players of all abilities together, making it the most accessible FIFA console game ever made. Mass Effect from BioWare is another franchise that you will soon be able to enjoy on Wii U. We have Wii U Mass Effect 3 Special Edition footage to show you. Let's take a look. Mass Effect 3 Special Edition is the most recent entry in a highly popular series of science fiction action games with the RPG element. The third game in the series takes players through an emotional story filled with memorable characters in a fight to save the galaxy. Players will experience intense third-person shooter combat, and with Wii U, the gamepad will provide a new level of tactical control over the battlefield. In addition, the Wii U version will begin with an interactive backstory comic, revealing the events leading up to the beginning of the game. It will also include extended cut content at the end of the game. Mass Effect 3 Special Edition will also be launched in Europe the same day as Wii U. Now I'd like to move to something a little different and show you some Wii U downloadable games that will be available from Nintendo eShop this year. We have had great support on many of our platforms but we are delighted to be offering a fantastic lineup of quality downloadable titles that really show off the skills of a wide range of development teams. First up is Trine 2, director's cuts from the Frozen Bite. This is a Wii U exclusive version of the original Trine 2 game with new modes and features. Here we are showing a brand new level exclusive to Wii U. This level is called Dwarven Caverns and features content with quite a different style to the other stages. The game will support four players both locally or via Nintendo network. You can also see how stunning the game is visually, and the Wii U version has been enhanced it with features including new controller options, new gameplay and level changes. It's a magical puzzle platformer experience in an enchanted world you don't want to miss. Tokitori has a history with Nintendo, going back to the popular Game Boy Color title from 2001. The brand new Tokitori 2 from Two Tribes will use a unique interaction between the Wii U gamepad and the TV to offer up new ideas and gameplay. Here you can see how easy and smooth it is to switch between the game pad and console. The game also moves from the traditional stage-based game to an open-world puzzle. There will be a level editor allowing fans to create stages directly on the game pad screen and see the result on the TV in real time. This is a great example of innovative use of the Wii U console's features. Expect to see Tokitori on Wii U pass later this year. Finally, let's see some gameplay from Nano Assault Neo, which I'm happy to tell you is another Wii U exclusive. Developers Shinen have created a visually arresting shooter, which uses the Wii U control sticks in twin stick style gameplay. 
The gamepad can be used to modify your ship, and you also have the option to play the game on the gamepad alone. To do this, you just touch the gamepad to pause your game, modify if you like, and carry on playing the game just on the gamepad. Next, I'd like to talk about the LEGO City Undercover from TT Games and LEGO, which we introduced at E3. In the game, you step into the shoes of Chase McCain, an undercover cop on a mission to end the city crime wave. Let's take a look at some new story elements. Hi there, I'm Chase. Yeah, it's the guy you told me about. Chase McCain! <laughs> meddling fool, making me hire some specialist she's brought in from overseas. Chase McCain? Dunby! Oh, uh, uh, who's that? Uh, oh, I, I was just resting my eyes and my arms and my legs. Settle down, people. Hey, Harry. How many coffees have you had? Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Did I have six shots or only five? Well... Okay, you've had enough. Right, I'm gonna take this from the top. The mayor thinks we should be looking for this man, Rex Fury. He's a giant! As you can see, this game is packed full of humor, but it's packed full of gameplay too. There are some special uses of the Wii U gamepad. For example, you can use it to scan for hidden criminals and also to call dispatch for new missions. Well, have you caught those clowns yet? Yes, Chief. Then go and deal with the roadblock on Auburn Bay Bridge. Those rookies have made a mess of it, and I doubt you can make it any worse. Another core feature of the game is our hero's ability to disguise himself. He can go undercover as a miner or even as a fellow thief. The miner might blow up rocks to find a hidden location, for example. There are over 100 of these actions for each disguise, so you can see the depth this feature brings to the game. <laughs> no police officer would save the city unless he could fight criminals. Here we see some fighting action chase style. You have done well. Take this belt with you as a sign of your skill. I can't accept this, Barry. Why? Oh, hello. Chase also has a variety of ways to get across the city. He can use his parkour skills. He can use a whole variety of different vehicles, over 100 of them, including cars, boats, and helicopters. The last thing I'd like to show you is this exclusive minifig of Chase McCain himself. This will come included with the first copies of the game, but it's limited edition, so make sure you don't miss out. Are you stupid? Somebody, get him to the chopper. I, I mean hospital. Uh, now who's going to cover his shift? You, give him your clothes, your helmet, and your hammer. No, it's okay. I'll find another one. Nintendo is also very excited to work with Activision, who has an impressive lineup of great Wii U titles in development, including Call of Duty Black Ops 2. We will be putting a video on our Nintendo Direct website after the presentation to show you an early preview, and we recommend you to stop by to watch it. Now a game that's really caught the attention of many gaming fans at E3. The Wonderful 101 from Platinum Games features a completely new game world where you combine the might of many heroes to fight an alien invasion. Produced by Mr. Inaba and directed by Mr. Kamiya, this is a game that is being developed by Platinum's own superheroes as we speak. Let's see more in this new Torera. The alien invasion of Earth will be met by a group of fearless warriors that number just 100 souls. One
100 wonderful defenders of our world. <laughs> Fists will erupt with volcanic fury. Blades will slice with razor sharp precision. And bullets will fire with incredible speed. Their faces are forever masked. Their tools are forever unknown. They are. The wonderful 101. I knew we forgot someone. You. But that's not all that's coming from Platinum Games. We are able now to announce another game from this fantastic developer. You might not have been expected this. It's Bayonetta 2, brand new and published by Nintendo exclusively for Wii U. We can tell you that the producer is Mr. Inaba, who is also working on the wonderful 101. The game will be directed by Mr. Hashimoto, who worked on the previous Bayonetta game. We are taking a look at many games in detail. But obviously, we don't have time to see every title in such a short presentation. However, I hope this video will give you an idea of what you can expect this year. Finally today, we'd like to confirm a game for Europe that many of you have been asking about. Have a look at this special video, recorded just for European fans. Capcom Tsumoto. です。今回はですね、Wii え、ですね、え、この Wii U版と3DS、え、ローカル通信で、え、通信で繋ぐことも可能となっておりますので、そちらもぜひ楽しんでいただけたらと思います。え、このですね、あの
Many thanks to Ryozo-san for sending us that special message. I can also tell you that Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate for Wii U will be available in March 2013. We've covered a lot of new features and gameplay in today's Nintendo Direct. I really hope it has given you a feeling for what is coming this year. We are very excited about Wii U and we will be updating you with new game and new console details as we get closer to launch day. I review with some information to sum up the software you can expect to see in the launch window. Until next time, happy gaming and thanks for playing.